And uh, let's see. It is going to do another cone, of course. All right. So yes, it is going to hit uh, hit both of you guys. Fuck you. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely going to hit both of you guys. It uh, does hit. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. I couldn't pick a square that I'm kind of jammed between here and nowhere. Yeah. Well. we'll just put you down. Thanks. Totally <laughs> You're <official>. very kind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a mean guy, you know? Wow. I am such a mean guy. Actually, Shem, you'll be okay. All right. <clears throat> He's just returning the favor for smashing him. That thing was being super yep. finicky. Yeah. All right, Frost Breath. Let's see. Uh, you you get your you know you're saved anyway because you have Bless on you, so it, it rolled and added a plus four, so you're pretty good. You'll only have to take half damage, so you'll take three. All right, Excellent. that's it for Excellent. the Ice Method. We'll go to round two. Dorothy, you're up now. All right, gonna take a step forward and try to knock this thing down like it's an icicle on sure. the gutters. Alright. Yeah, just make sure you're not on a half line because I'll just move you down where I want you. <laughs> uh, that's okay. my fault. Dorothy, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Alright, you slash out with this thing with your uh, long, your named longsword, Alfred, whatever his name is. And, Boy. Uh, Lloyd. And you hit him for five. Very nice. Shem, you're up now. Is that cone still in effect? Or is it, it is just not. A, a I just okay, haven't so taken it off will, yet. Yep, I will rush up and engage him with my scimitars. Sure. I'd like, well, if it's a possibility, uh, as I'm running in, I'm going to take two swings all at once at him and then run kind of through him so I'm behind him not and, and facing towards Kella. Yeah. You mean... Sort of, yeah. You, so you I'd, can, I'd like, you like can do this, bolt. yeah. Yeah, and, yeah and you I'm, can do I'm, that. Like, perfect. Yep. That would be thirty feet totally, yeah. And you slash him a couple times as you're running by. Yeah, I like that. Excellent. I can see that in my mind as you're kind of doing like maybe a somersault or a cartwheel or something. I was thinking like a baseball slide and just two swing, two, two swings in. <laughs> I was going more feminine with the cartwheels and shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 21's a hit. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Eight damage. That's Very nice. Off <clears throat> that's a, still a hit with an 11. Thank goodness for Bless, huh? Thank goodness. Wow. Yeah, yeah that fire, that that ice meth, it goes down. So As I'm sliding through, my, my simic yeah. cars you are straight through his neck and his abdomen, uh, leaving him in three chunks laying on the floor. Nice, because when you knock him into those three chunks, he explodes with his death burst. And it will hit uh, both you. What? And it will also... Oh, only five feet. You are so lucky. So it will hit just you, Mr. Shem. And uh, let's see. What do I have? I took oh, uh, Kel off. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Uh, you actually made your saving throw anyway with a with an eight, and that, that would be a ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight. How that? No, that would actually be a failure for yeah, you. Yeah, I failed my. So yeah, you're gonna take a bunch of uh, damage from shards. So you're gonna take a total of three slashing damage from all of the shards. And as this thing, you know, it it breaks. It sounds like glass shattering, also. And bits of ice shard just go everywhere. You won't take any damage, Urkel, so... All right. Thanks, yeah. No worries. All right, so that's, that's good to go. Now we're to uh, Shem. You're done. And now we're to Kel. Should be on Kel. Okay. As I yeah, think that's you guys run up through the tracker. Excellent. Bing, bing, bing. Um, I yelled to Dorothy, you better back away from that thing. If it blows up, it's going to take you with it. I'm just trolling you, Shem. Sorry. The snow mice or something. I was herself. pinging Because we're all thinking snow mice or something. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can see I'll lose a, a firebolt from there. Actually, you know what? Uh, magic missile. 
from on wow. top here. Lose Kel, it. Kel burning the spell slot. I like it. I like it. All right, so it's automatically hit. It's automatic hit. So go ahead and take your three orbs and drop it three times on that ice method. Let's see if you can roll as good as a uh, Valen with his magic missiles. I'm trying to find it here, Barry. There we are. The blood drop where it says. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I just had to find it. Is it one D? It's it is one D four plus one, right? Yeah, very good. Oh, minimum. So two <laughs> damage, two force damage. One missile streaks and hits it. Let's see what the other two do. Uh, very nice. Maximum damage of five, and let's see what the last one does. Four. Good job. Very nice. This ice method is and in pretty bad shape. Take that ice ball and kind of knock off the ice rind and then back off 30 feet. Yeah, one of your missiles, one of your darts actually knocks its wing off, and you hear a little, like a small shatter as you evacuate. <laughs> I love it. So this thing is great. Yeah. Yeah, so this thing's on the ground walking now. All right, so it doesn't get its, it doesn't recharge. It's gonna, it's gonna move here, and it's going to attack Shem. This thing's gonna move right up and claw you, Shem. Ooh, and it actually hits with an 18. So you're gonna take a little bit of cold and a little bit of slashing for for a total of six. All right, so let's go to Valen. Alright, I want to like how I flame again. Alright. Like how I position it right between both players. Oh, that was a failed saving throw. Roll damage. Boom. It explodes. Glass shatters. Now let's let's go back to the ice method. Oh, why do you think I strategically placed that ice method yep. between both of you guys? It's so weird that he that ice method, they're intelligent, man. They're they're was, they're pretty intelligent. To be fair, that was a badass move. And I uh he's he's probably pretty angry. Yeah, he There's uh, no uh there's no hiding underneath that table, is there? So you just don't block. Wow, double ones on those rolls. Do you guys see those? Well you rolled it. <laughs> you guys had horrible rolls. You guys well, take some rolling. damage. Been pretty good with the critical oh. failure. Oh, look at that. Both of you take maximum damage as the method explodes, glass shatters, and you are just showered with bits of razor sharp pieces of ice and frost. Now, as this happens, these bits of ice as you guys are, you know, out now out of combat, you guys notice that all of these bits of ice are all starting to swirl together. And as they run, swirl run together, they, you know, they're about right I would say they're about right here. You know, that's where the both of the, the corpses were. So all of a sudden, you know, don't don't move your token please. You know, this is go back to where you work out. Now Thanks, thanks. As this stuff is uh, kind of swirling around and whatnot, all of a sudden you can see like a a spirit zip towards one of these braziers, and these things are still uh, shooting fire out of them. Now, out of as this as this like spirit kind of streaks across, and this happens with like the blink of an eye almost, and this thing just bolts right over to the brazer and out of the brazer jumps another creature. Now this creature looks like this. It, it's similar to what that ice method looked like but this thing actually looks more transparent and it looks like a, it looks like it's smoke or steam. So let's roll initiative again against the steam method. I as was it now, away. <laughs> as it now starts to attack. Remember, around us simultaneously, so all this, all this stuff happens yeah, yeah. at one time. Yeah, yeah. So. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Very nice. Well, you guys got the initiative. So, uh, Dorothy, uh, looks like your initiative's twenty-one. Very nice. Wow. Very good. You guys will probably be able to blast this thing 
before it gets to you. So, Dorothy, you're up first. Uh, yeah, you're kind of far away, but... Yeah, but this thing, like I said, that ice was kind of swirling around, and then you see the spirit and the ice jet right for that that uh, brazier, and then with just instantly a, another one of these method jumps out, but it's not an ice method this time. It is a steam method. All right, Dorothy, you're up first. All right. I'm going to move up as close as I can. Sounds good. Oh, oh that's me. <laughs> this is what I get for uh, going out. You want, you want the, the ugly looking dwarf without a beard. That's what yeah, I was gonna say. She looks. That's what she looks like without a beard, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what? You can kiss my door, but all right, and you can get on in there and uh, attack it if you want. And you still have a uh, you still have on that that blessing too. play this for you. And oh, you got a double one. I know. I know that's that's horrible. It, do you have to play that play that sound on repeat? <laughs> no, it, it won't even play the sound. Maybe the maybe this new sound cloud got repoed too, I don't know. No weird. No, no, no. Three's enough. That's yeah, that's playing that one, but it's not playing the the crit miss. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've heard it like four times nowadays. Oh, really? Very it's sad. Going. I can't hear it. I'm sorry, I can't hear it. Price is right. We got this. Yeah, I can't hear it on my end. My bad. I wasn't trying to rub it in or anything. So, all right, let's see. Let's move on to the next person. Yeah, I, did I say I was done? Well, the, the the critical fumble said you were done. Yeah. So I can't <laughs> my possible bonus action here? Sure, if you want to do a bonus action, go for it. Usually at the, on a one, we usually just kind of go to the next person. How long have you been playing with me now? Sometimes take, I think too long. Take, take your bonus action. I just want to use second wit. What's the big deal? Go for it. Do it. Alright, I can hear it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it that time. <laughs> Nice heal. Fart. What's up, live? All right, Valon. What say you? I'm going to cast Sacred Flame again. Congratulations! You may have a, a first encounter without going down unconscious. I think that's a failure. Wow! Nice job, Valon. God, good Sacred Flames tonight from you. Hey, good damage. Yeah, very nice. Any movement for you, Valon? Go ahead and take your movement, and I'll yeah, approve, well, it, approve it, though. Kel, you're up. Kel, you're up. So I move max distance away, and I loose my last and second magic missile. Okay, sounds good. I like it. Three orbs going to, well, three yeah. darts going to the steam yeah, method. Three darts. Call them up and bring them down like falcons upon them. So. Very nice. First dart hits for three force damage. Second dart for two. Third dart for three for a total of eight damage. Pretty good. I like it. Can I move my ten more just to get some cover? Uh, as long as you get ten more feet. Yeah, go for it. You can move, cast, move, whatever you want. Yeah. All right. So Excellent. as you, you know, as you start to move behind this, <laughs> as you, as you move behind the uh, this big stone slab or altar, you Any get a whiff of death. No, definitely not. I fired it. I, I and, think I fired it. Yeah, uh, no, definitely not. There's looks like five human corpses that are behind this altar, 
And it's a you know, sacrificial you, chamber. You know, you were kind of worried about getting away from the Mephit, so you were kind of like strafing, and then you, you kind of almost Rap. tripped over these. And you know, you kind of look around, and you're like, "Holy crap! There's there's dead bodies here." So there's yeah, and they're definitely human, and they're all dressed in the same attire and whatnot too. So it looks like they're they're all in robes. So and they've all got these slash marks and claw marks, probably from the from the Mephits is probably how they died. So interesting. All right, so Kel, uh, that's it for you. Let's go to Malachi. I see uh, that Shem got hurt pretty bad in that last uh, explosion. <laughs> sure. I'm going to move down to him and cast Cure Wounds on him. You're going to feel him up? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, watch that left hand. <laughs> Juicy. Pour I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. Sugar on me. Very nice. Nice heal. 12. Wow. Beautiful. And that's it for me. All right. Looks like Shem, you're up now, sir. I'll rush up. Uh, seeing as the last one did a severe amount of damage. Uh, once I was so close to them, uh, I'm going to start throwing weapons from a distance. Uh, it sounds like a winner, doesn't it? Uh, seeing this is Steam one, I'm going to go with hammers this time. Okay. That's a hit. As you blast it in the neck with a hammer for a total of six. Oh, my oh, neck! You're off, oh, man. Is, uh, that is one miss. flies right through him. No. Hit him. Yeah, and it almost hits, almost hits Dorothy. Uh, thankfully, it wasn't a crit fail. She used all those up. Oh, I know. If we all didn't right. say anything with all the crit fails we've had today. I know, I, know. I can't. I know. I know. I, I really can't. Okay, so I will go ahead and uh, I'm going to do another cone attack. I'm gonna pour some sugar on me. Oh. Alright, 15 foot cone. Shem, Dorothy, saving throws. You guys are both successful. Very good. And let's see, here's the moment of truth. Damage. Okay, it says you took half. Sure. So we're good. Alright. So, that's it for this pointer. I'm done with the steam method. Dorothy, round four, you're up. This is getting depressing, but I'm still singing the Snow Miser song in my head. Okay, also, shit. also shit one last thing. Fast. Yeah, because they both were successful with their saving throws. But you so. don't show it. Does it? Uh, yeah, should have went to the damage one. Yeah, one, one now. Before, now I have two. Yep. So the one, the last thing this this method does is is it almost goes fully transparent into where you can you can just almost barely see him. So now, you know, if you're going to be attacking him, he's uh, basically I've put blur on myself, and what blur does is if you're attacking him, it's going to be with disadvantage. Alright. So there we go. And I don't think I have a I don't have a disadvantage pendant on this guy, so, so you just want me to click disadvantage. Yeah, just click, click disadvantage, yeah, if you don't mind. Alright, so he's kind of like shimmered into like a halfway through another plane maybe. Maybe the plane of cold. Well, there's no one around me, so I'm swinging wildly. Okay. All right, that's a miss. Anything else for you, Mrs. Dorothy? Well, fuck it. Since I'm swinging wildly, might as well use the action surge. Uh, we don't use like webcams it. for the. These are live. These are Do the it. patron games. I don't. I don't make the patrons have uh, webcams. My campaigns, I do though. Nice. Very nice disadvantage. Twelve versus AC. That's a hit. Wow, very nice. As this thing explodes, 
But when this thing uh, explodes, absolutely. you know, this is more of like a like a small hissing, <sighs> like a like a giant burst of air, you know, and you get hit with this blasting, steaming hot, you know, wave of air that comes out. So, so let's a new get type a, of uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Does it go to the other um, thingy, the other razor? It does not. Not not that you can see so far. So you failed your saving throw. And we will go ahead and give you some... Oh my gosh, this is like crazy damage here. I got you scared. You take three fire damage from the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and the steam method is dissipated. And, this, and all of the steam around just kind of fades away. Doesn't get yelled at everybody. Come take a look back here. Everything. There's bodies. Shem's gonna look over to Dorothy and, and ask. So, what type of element has it your beard absorbed in the last few days? Ale. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a food group. Banana juice. Search the bodies. Bodies. What bodies? Said so there's bodies over there's there. There's bodies over here. Go ahead, start searching. So you start rifling you, through all of the uh, all of the corpses, and you can find a bunch of coins, a bunch of gems, a bunch of jewelry, several rings, and they're the all group. worth a total of two hundred gold pieces. So you don't need to worry about putting anything on your sheet loot wise, Kel, because okay. I'll I'll okay. use the party to do that at the end. Oh, so. even better, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have two hundred gold worth of coins. Gems, jewelry, rings, all that good stuff. So, what else are you guys doing? As you, I would I'll try and climb the uh, cloth to the top. Sorry. Sure. You, you with some. Oh, let me un unlock your tokens too. My bad on that. So, yeah, all of you guys can, you know, use and assist each other to get on top of this stone slab. Like I said, it is, it is about fifteen feet up. Takes I'll at least two or three and, people. Yeah. Help Malachi up if you'd like. Okay. All right. So, I'll head up. Yeah. So who's going up first? I I'm I'm gonna head up. Uh, I like to get there too. Okay. So Shem is your stronger people should probably stand the bottom and lift them up. So before I do that, Dave, I I did sure. the reason I went over that way is to investigate the the bodies themselves. You said they were all dressed alike, and I'm wondering if I can't figure out um, maybe where that might be coming from. They would appear to be cultists, and you know they they have those markings from the cult of the dragon uh, back from you know and those all of that stuff was in the notes of Verata store because remember she talked about that cult of the dragon from a year ago, and they were unsuccessful in summoning Tiamat, and then she had you know etched in a couple of symbols and these. There, you know, these cloaks actually have the symbols of the cult of the dragon kind of woven into the robe. And I there's five robes. So, I mean, you guys could take these robes if, I mean, I'm not trying to tell you to do what you do, you know, but, I mean, you could take those robes if you wanted to. I mean, it's up to you. How damaged are they? Mm, they're not really that damaged. The cultists are damaged, you know, around their facial areas, and that looks like. The way they were, they were killed was from these these methods. How slashing long dead the jugglers are they? And, uh, a year? Do dead. a medicine. You can do a medicine check to try to deter. Very nice. Holy crap! That's isn't that the first twenty of the night? I, uh, I got a twenty on initiative. Oh, okay. Well, here's one for you too. So, what it looks like. They've been dead probably for a couple of weeks. A couple, three weeks. Oh, that's it. All right. Okay, okay. I'll take one set of the robes in. I'll take, I'll take one. one. So everybody put on your sheet. Yeah. Create robes. an item and put cultist robes. Yeah, put cult of the dragon robes. Yeah, definitely put cult of the dragon robes. I kind of gave that to him. I don't think they would have taken the robes if I didn't say something. But I, you know, you never Just know the if, I if they may need need him. 
All right, sure. All five of you got them. All five of them, add them to your sheets. Okay, so who's going up okay, on the so top of this slab first, and who's helping who? Come again? I was who's... trying to get up there. All right, so you're going to be first going up there, Kel? I'll try, yep, I'll please. I'll guidance on Kel just to be safe. Uh, there's I'll no do, chance. Uh, I'll do an assist, kind of a, a, a okay. have him put his boot in my, in my clasp hands and help push him up. Yeah, it's only 15 uh -huh. foot, so it's not like, you know, you guys are trying to climb up the Empire State Building or anything. So, yeah, you, you assist, you know, uh, Vel up there, and you see something actually pretty phenomenal on the top. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paste in Texas to you. If someone else wants to go up at the same time, I'll be the bottom of the cheerleader pyramid and help them up. So I just I whispered it to you, Kel. That's that's what you see up on top of the stone slab. I yell out to the group in the huge chamber where I see. There are far large gold plates up here. I see me large symbols also carved into it of some such, maybe giant. Would make yeah. sense. Yeah, they, they appear to be, because I think you were with that that check on the outside of the, the cavern, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, right. they, they would be the symbol of Anam, the All-Father. So four large gold plates, they appear to be pretty valuable. And Do I recognize those folk as Cult of the Dragon people? Uh, yes, I'm sure the, the party would inform you, seeing that you're the new guy okay. Okay. in the group, yes. Uh, they all know that that is the symbol of the cult of the dragon. I think. I think instead, I would have led the group and said, "Oh no, no, these are just uh, like a f formal party wear. You, you wear them to any normal <laughs> event or gala. It's well known throughout the throughout the fun." That the would be course. awesome. I would love to see that. That would be great role play right there. Are these? Fact, I'm gonna, worth I'm gonna throw out a deception check and just see if I can't make sure that yeah, he he wears that the next time out in public. <laughs> oh, nice. Do an insight check. Uh, do an insight check dropping in the tower for me, Kel. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Shim, you're so evil. Yeah, you, you kind of... Ooh. Sure about that. I had a yawn just come up out of nowhere. Yeah, you 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 deceived him, Shem. <laughs> I look good. I should look good at my next meeting. Seeing him wear that out in public. Very nice. That was actually a really bad roll, Cal. Sorry. All right. So you got these four big gold plates on the top, and each one of these gold plates have uh, the symbol of a nom, and then a couple of other symbols also. Are they worth over a thousand gold pieces? No, no, but okay. they're 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 pretty valuable though. Can we lift them? Sure, they're pretty heavy. But yeah. Before you do, I we're in a temple, right? We're in a temple. temple. Yes, you are. You are in the temple oh, of Anon. Violating right? that might be. I don't know what. Why? Why were these cultists or these other folk, these uh, office people, killed or the uh, in here by the ice methods? Because they sucked at fighting. They sucked at fighting. Okay, pretty I much. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> they didn't have any weapons on them, did they? You speak the, the truth, so I, I mean, that's them. valid. They yeah, had. They only really just, found gold and gems. They didn't yeah. come for a fight. And uh, how the hell they all get in a in. pile behind the table? They had daggers, just shoddy daggers. Oh, they did have something at least. Okay. Well, this might be a good time for a mag spell of magical detection. Oh, I, I have uh, detect ma magic by burning my slots, so... You can do it as Malachi, a ritual. You need to get up there? You can do a rest, maybe? You can do it. You um, can do it as a ritual. Ten-minute yeah. cast. Help them up? Help, help them hand down, foot up, kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. helps up whoever needs it. Okay, I'll start a bring bring out all the incense and candles and everything and oh. start chanting. Is Al Are you sure we have we have to disturb the discs? Four discs are laid in a particular order. Yeah, yeah, no, they're kind sorry. of just kind of spread out. 
looks like, I mean, they're forming a sort of like a half crescent. So two of them are lower than the middle two are a little bit right. higher. Right, right. But there's an organization then. Okay, yeah. good. Yep, yep, yep. And you can 